זו הפרשת חוקת יום שישי. על שבת העשרה דיחו אינון אמר כתשעה דעשרה גרמיהו, משום אישה דיכול. מה אתה אמר? ויגין בבכל רוחה אחרה עזה ושתשיה ושרה על עמה. וחז ברי ברנש לנקיף אמין אבו רוחה ולעלה רוחה אחרה כתשעה ידעה בהי ועתך אגרמי ממשכי עלי אבו רוחה אילה אקדישה So when Shabbat comes, the Alma Kodesh have to prepare themselves and to separate themselves from the Chol. And uh, one of the ways to do at least it Bor is to emerge Immerse. itself in uh, uh, Migve. Immerse. Immerse, yeah. What is the reason? Because in, during the Chol, during the days of the week, there is a spirit of uh, Chol. And the spirit of Chol is all over and it attaches itself to everybody, right? And when comes Shabbat, a man wants to come out of this spirit and to be attached to a spirit of uh, Kiddushah, then he has to separate himself because this is also the way how he's going to get the Neshama Yitera of Shabbat, right? And uh, to pre what, as he's preparing himself or immerse, immerses himself in the, in the Migveh, then he's ready to, to receive this uh, spirit of uh, Kedushah. You come and see, there's a big secret in this. All the six days, which correspond to the six sefirot, right, because the six sefirot, from Chesed to Yesod represent also the six days. They, they are attached in a way. What we call in the Nikuda Kedusha, which is the Sefirah Malchut of uh, Olam Atsiut. And all the other days, right, so the six days, and there was also correspondence with the, uh, the worlds of uh, Beria, Yitzira, and Yitzira, right, which are called Chol because it's Olam Hatzilut that is called Shabbat or Kodesh. Huh? All this is attached. And this, the same thing as the, the system of attachment between the six Sefirot and the Sefirat Mahut, which are, correspond to the, uh, the days of Chol and the days of Shabbat, there is in the, in the negative side the same system. So in that side, there is also the six Sefirot, there's also Sefirat Mahut, there's also different Olamot, everything, as in the positive side, there is also in the negative side. So it says that all these days that we call Yamim Acherim, the other days, right? It, uh, which are the, the, the correspondence of the negative days. Of course, negative days means those the negative forces that have more power during the week, because we know in the Shabbat they have less power, right? So they also attach to this Sefir Abachut, because we know that the negative side is also the Tzchayut, it's uh, life, it's... Uh, how does it get its uh, possibility of existence is when it does and it sucks in a way from the uh, Ruhaniyut, right? From the, uh, the Sefirot Ha'elyonim. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, this is the positive energy that gives life. So if the negative has to get this, this possibility of, of uh, getting this, uh, this light, and this is how they can survive and they can strike and do whatever they have to do. So when Bnei Israel come and uh, do Shabbat, uh, so then they become uh, more Kodesh, right? And they are also study the Torah and they uh, go to the synagogue and do all these things they have to do in the Shabbat. Uh, then they make it in a way, or they associate, they associate themselves with what's happening on Shabbat. And what happens on Shabbat is that the six Sefirot then attach themselves to the Sefirah Malchut, because Malchut is Shabbat, is the receiving Right, so they, they they attach, and then there is this harmony. Uh, 
And when the disharmony that comes with Shabbat on Shabbat, there's also a protection right, that comes to Bnei Yitzchayim. Since they do participate to this elevation, right, and this attachment, or this harmony, okay, then they get something back. What, what do they get back? Well, first, as it says here, they get to be protected from all these days that are in the negative side. And all these six days of the week, which we call Yemei Achor, right? So this Nekuda, as we said, which is the Machut of the of Atzilut, uh, is not ready. I mean, it's not receiving as it's supposed to receive, and it's not in its place. So it needs to, to, to come up. And when it come up, when uh, Shabbat comes, huh, she goes up and to Olam Atzilut. And when she goes up, there's this effect of pulling. So she goes up and everything is going up with it. Right? When we say everything, we mean the world, the other sefirot, the, uh, you know, the, the whole uh, spir- spirituality goes up on Shabbat. Because it's pulled by what's happening to the sefirah Malchut. So this is the secret of Shabbat. The secret of Shabbat is this elevation of everything that's spiritual and this possibility for us to be in this elevation. In other words, to elevate ourselves to this level of Shabbat which we cannot reach during the week or other times. Because Shabbat, there's something happening that allows us to, to reach this, uh, these heights. So this is what we have to think in Shabbat, that when we do all these things, and uh, we don't do things that we're not supposed to do. It's not to, to, because it's just forbidden to be forbidden, because those things will stop us from elevating ourselves. So when we do everything that is written in the Torah about Shabbat, that we elevate ourselves, we help the nature to, el- to elevate itself, and even all the way up to the Sefirot, when the Sefirah Malchut goes up to Ola Matzilut, we also participate in that. And of course, then we get something back, back, which is what, which is this ruach uh, akodesh, this uh, spirit of sanctity that we all need for the rest of the week. Shalom, amen, amen.